Hey Dharma Circle, Swati here, the Embodied Dharma Coach. I just shared a little bit about my own journey and I want to remind you of one of the keys of the Dharmic path so that you can be aware of the pieces involved in this journey. And just to keep noticing where you are in this process, what needs are surfacing, and how to keep showing up and moving towards the nourishment. Many of you know my story. Um, when my mother passed suddenly, it radically shifted my life. And I felt like I lost everything. And in many ways I did. It was a complete clearing, purging and release on multiple levels of my life and my body, spirit. And in the process of doing my grief work, began to strengthen my relationship with spirit, the ancestors, my own body wisdom, my gifts, my inner wisdom. And it was on so many different levels, the catalyst for awakening my Dharma. And I call this an initiation. I've noticed over the many years doing Dharmic mentorship work with hundreds and hundreds of women around the world that this is one of the key ingredients of the Dharmic path. An initiation process takes place. And that usually looks like going through immense hardship on some level. So there is some sort of breaking free, transforming, shifting away from the old ways or your old path even. And usually it looks like a trauma or a rupture or something that forces you to make some dramatic shifts and changes in your life on your path and we may already be feeling the shifts and changes occurring but this initiation forces the change and I hear from so many women that it's like I didn't even have an option this was happening whether I wanted it to or not and in my case you know that was the death of my mother sudden death of my mother I didn't want that to happen I couldn't even fathom it happening, but being forced into that growth process really was the catalyst for awakening my dharmic path, aligning with my purpose. I'm curious what your initiation process looks like for you. Can you identify that breaking point, that transition point. What was that for you? Some of you might be there right now. Some of you might be in that process as you're watching this. What's emerging for you? The thing about our grief journey, doing our grief work, our trauma work, is it supports the clarity of what do I need. It supports the alignment with our deepest nourishment. And that is your dharmic path. Your dharmic path is the path of nourishment and wholeness for you and your body. And doing our grief work and trauma work supports that deeper understanding, that embodied knowing of what deeply nourishes me. Body, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And in my next video, I'll talk more about how the ancestors play a role in that because they are vital for the Dharmic path. 
But for today, contemplate the initiation that you've been in, that you are in, how this is shaping your path, what you're discovering as a result of that. And if you're ready to deepen this integration and embodied awareness of your gifts, your wisdom, and even how to up-level, expand, and grow your life force energy in the year ahead, I would love to have you join us for the 14-Day Dharma Challenge. We start this month, just opened enrollment. Space is very limited. This is a process for women who are ready and excited, energized, and are wanting that expansion, that integrated, embodied knowing. This is my path, this is my purpose. I know what I'm here to do, and I'm ready to go for it. That's what we do in the 14 Day Dharma Challenge. And I have a spot for you if you're ready, if that's you. We'll talk a lot more about the initiation process as well as how the ancestors play a role in your dharmic path and even in your business model. So consider this 14 day challenge literally a soul business training. That's what we do in this 14 days. Very powerful seed planting. I can't wait to share more with you. In my next video, I'll talk more about how the ancestors play a role in your dharmic path and how they're actually non-negotiable for your dharmic path, your purpose, and even your dharmic business. I'll put the link above for this 14-day challenge, and I can't wait to see you there. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.